today in Black History. Joseph Richard Winters, born August 29th, 1824 to November 29th, 1916, was an African-American abolitionist and inventor who on May 7th, 1878, received a U.S. patent number 203-517 for a wagon-mounted fire escape ladder. On April 8th, 1879, he received the U.S. patent number 214-224 for an improvement on the ladder. On May 16th, 1882, he received the U.S. patent number 258186 for a fire escape ladder that could be affixed to buildings. Hmm. Joseph R. Winters was born in Leesburg, Virginia to an African-American brickmaker and a Shawnee Indian mother who was the daughter of a noted herbalist and medical practitioner referred to as the Indian doctor woman, a racist. The family relocated to Chambersburg, Pennsylvania around 1840. Joseph Winters worked as a farmer and later as a mechanic for the Cumberland Valley Railroad. He was a noted fisherman and hunter. Black and white residents long remembered him for his great knowledge of nature and skills, especially in fishing and fly making. He was also a poet and a lyricist and composed a song supporting the 1900 presidential campaign of William Jennings Bryan as well as another song titled 10 Days After the Battles of Gettysburg. He was also had written an autobiography with the same title, but no copies seem to have survived. During this time, Winters lived in Chambersburg. He was an active Underground Railroad participant. He has been said that he orchestrated the meeting, the famous meeting, between Frederick Douglass and John Brown before the latter's abortive attempt to take the federal arsenal at Harper's Ferry in 1859. Winters died in 1916 and is buried in Mount Vernon Cemetery in Chambersburg. This is American Black History. Peace.